Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have incredibly intriguing story to share with you. Uh, while exploring a nearby river, Merrimack, right here in Missouri, I stumbled upon something unexpected. An iPhone. I am not sure which one it is. That's for you guys to find out. Um, so it was right there. I touched it by accident while being in the water. I thought it was rock at first, but it was really slick and I wanted to pick it up. It was uh, turned screen up and I took it out of the water and it was an iPhone. I'm not sure how long it has been here, but it looks like it has seen better days. The screen is covered with mud and grime. Camera was covered with grime and it seems like it's been submerged for quite some time. As you can see, crime is everywhere, on the case, in the speakers, and luckily this phone had a case. To be honest, this is excellent example of having case. Screen does not look good at all. I am not sure at this point I can't see any cracks, but I have some suspicion that screen might be cracked. So I tried to pry the charging port to see how it looks, and it's it's pretty good even though it was covered there's a lot of like dust and sand in there so what do you think if is this salvageable so let's give it a try so i just decided to put this phone back to water clean it up with some soap i was thinking i can't harm it any more than river already did so i have some of my detailing brushes and they're really soft so this, to be honest, didn't do a whole lot on the case, so, but I used it mostly on the camera because these bristles are really soft and I didn't want to damage and scratch this phone even more than it already was. This did not do a whole lot to the case, but I decided to keep the case for some time, just while I'm handling phone and cleaning the camera. Then I took my kid's uh, toothbrush while he's sleeping, so he doesn't know. I cleaned it up nicely and put it back. And this is the time I decide to take this case off and see how it looks on the back. So just keep in mind, I have no knowledge about iPhones. I don't know if this is iPhone 10, 11, 12, 14. So I'm assuming it's newer one just because of size of the cameras and the size of the phone itself. I tried to clean the speakers and the port. I used the toothbrush because bristles are kind of stiffer. And I also decided not to take the screen protector because this phone has one and I can see it peeling on the edges. But um, yeah, this took kind of a long time. And this is where I realized that screen is actually cracked and most definitely decided not to take the screen cover. I just didn't want to pull the whole screen off. So let's see how we did it. So this is how it looked before and after a lot of rubbing and scrubbing, I think it looks pretty good. Looks really good. And I love the little bluish color. I don't know what this color is called, but it has some hints of uh, blue, kind of navy blue, even purple. I don't know if it's my light, but this phone cleaned out really, really nicely. Uh, there's still some dust and grime as you can see in these close-ups, especially in the speaker area. I really didn't want to do any more cleaning than this. But uh, I think it looks great. It feels really good in the hand and unfortunately these are the cracks and they're not small. Right in the middle of the screen. There's some chipping on the side but it seems like it's mostly um, screen cover. But I still really want to put it on a charger and see if it's gonna charge. So, great, I'll charge it overnight and try to turn it on tomorrow. Make a new video, if you'd like to see if this turns on or not, please subscribe, I'll keep you posted. Thank you for watching.